The day of the Lord. Good Saturday morning, family. Good Saturday morning, family. Um, there's something this morning that I did wanted to share with you all um, concerning a um, spiritual dream that the Lord shared with me this morning concerning the coming of the Lord. And, you know, there was really nothing said in this dream. The Lord was just reminding me and showing me that the coming of the Lord could be upon us at any moment. And the question to you and also to me is, will we be, will we, excuse me, be ready for Jesus' return? You know, there's a lot of us, you know, who think that we are ready, but in reality, we are not ready. You know, and a lot of us in the body of Christ, we have a one-way ticket to hell and don't even realize that we have that. Not saying that we're destined for hell, not saying that hell is our destination is not our destination because I know in Leviticus I don't know exactly what scripture or chapter but the next time I come on here concerning this topic I will have it please excuse me for not having that you know certain scripture but you guys can look it up you know the Lord reminds us that his will is for us to not go to hell but to live internal with him but not everybody is willing to lay down their life. Not everybody is willing to make that sacrifice to, you know, say, for God, I live, for God, I die. And the Lord was reminding me, he didn't even have to say nothing in the dream, but the Lord was reminding me that the day of the Lord could be upon us at any moment, and we not know because we're not spiritually, you know, focused. We're losing our focus in this time and in this season, and we cannot lose our spiritual focus in this time and in this season. We have to be ready at every cost, every minute, because the Lord could come back at any moment. He could come back, you know, right while I'm making this video, you know, and I'm not sure if I will be raptured, you know, and I want to be raptured and I want to see the Lord. But, you know, I don't know. That's why we have to stay in a mindset and in a posture of a heart of repentance every single time. Asking God to forgive us. And not only that, but asking ourselves to forgive, us, to forgive ourselves for the constant things that we do on a daily basis. And another thing, whatever God has called you to do, whatever God has called me to do, it's time for us to rise up and do what he has called us to do because when Jesus comes back and we have to, you know, appear at that white throne judgment, he's going to question us. He's going to ask us, you know, he's going to. Did we spread his gospel? Did we treat everybody right? He's going to ask us these questions, you know concerning our life and you know we can't lie because he's going to bring the memories back of everything we did and everything that we did not do correctly so it's important that you know we lay down our lives for jesus christ it's important that we live for god it's important that we do what god has called us to do because the day of the lord like i said could be upon us at any moment you know i remember the lord um at a young age would show me dreams and i know you know in joel's prophecy it prophesies that and that prophecy is true and it really really is and it's coming to pass daily but the lord at a young age, even at a young age, the Lord was showing me the day of the Lord. The Lord was showing me about the rapture. The Lord was showing me about the coming of the Lord. He shows me that. He shows me that still to this day. And even this morning as I was dreaming, the Lord was showing me that the day of the Lord, the rapture, you know, could come at any moment. And will you be ready? Amen. And that's what the Lord was showing me. But I want to share some scriptures real quick. And then that's that I'm going to get off of here. Um, amen. So um, I'm going to start with Matthews 24 and 27. And it says, um, For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man. That's one scripture. Matthews 24 and 44 says, so you also must be ready because the son of man will come at an hour when you do not expect him amen let's see if i can find us another scripture um Carlations 3 and 4 says uh, when christ whom is your life appears 
when you then you also will appear with him in glory. Amen. It also says in um, James 5 and 8, Be patient, stand firm, because the coming of the Lord is near. And it is, because the signs are appearing before our own eyes. Isaiah 9 and 2 says, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. And I know that scripture really doesn't have much to do with, you know, um, the coming of the Lord, but still. Um, amen. Acts 2 and 38 says, And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Matthews 24 and 31 says, He is coming in the clouds. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. I'll try to find us one more scripture. Amen. First Thessalonians 4 and 7, the rapture. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So that's basically all the scriptures that I want to share with you. I know some of the scriptures were not about the rapture and the coming of the Lord, but you know, it doesn't matter. Every scripture is important in the Bible. So I just wanted to share that with you all today. You know, I pray that I wasn't being too spiritual for you. But, you know, it's a lot of topics that, you know, preachers, pastors are not talking about. You know, you have to get away from pastors and preachers that only talk about fame, money, being rich, tithing, what holiness looks like. As in what you wear, which that's not holiness or righteousness. It's a lifestyle. You need to get up under preachers that are going to preach in season and out of season. Preach words that preach messages um, that are going to, you know, make you examine your life. Make you examine your life. Not preach, you know, sermons that are going to make you shout. Because you can shout your way into hell. You can dance your way into hell. You can sing your way into hell. I don't care if you can speak in tongues. You can speak your tongues into hell. I don't care how good you dress. You can dress your way into hell. And it's time for us to, you know, get into revelations. Because we're living out revelations. Every prophecy that is in revelations is being, you know, revealed and released even now. So it's time for us to examine our lives. Yes, it's good to celebrate. Yes, it's good to dance. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that. But it's time to really examine ourselves and say, Lord, and not even that, but say, you know, self, if Jesus was to appear in the clouds in this moment with the sound of the trumpet, will I be raptured? Would I be ready? Some of you guys need to go on a fast. Some of you guys need to go on consecration. But that's all I got to say. You guys be blessed. Please do not, you know, feel condemned from this video. I want you to get convicted. Because when you get convicted, you know, that's a good thing. Because I am even convicted right now. I feel conviction. And that's a good thing. And it is. But I want us to examine ourselves. Examine yourselves while you still got a chance. 
Turn your life around. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent and turn away from your wicked ways while you still have a chance. Because there are some people who have gone on over 